sold all your clothes and kept that. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated romantic comedies of the 2000s. For this list, we're looking at the most overlooked and underappreciated rom-coms from the new millennium to 2010. What's your favorite rom-com from the aughts? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Music and Lyrics Hugh Grant and Drew Barrymore team up in this likable comedy about collaboration and finding your voice. Grant plays Alex, an 80s pop has-been who's resigned himself to living in the past. Barrymore Sophie is a former aspiring writer who's lost her confidence thanks to a toxic ex. While working together on a pop song for teen sensation Cora, romance and inspiration blossom. Music and lyrics is not considered one of Hugh Grant's best rom-coms, but he brings his usual charm and humor, as does Barrymore. I've been living with a shadow overhead. There'll be no more rhymes until I'm fed. Despite the age gap, we root for Alex and Sophie, and it's fun to watch them get wrapped up in the creative process. The songs are catchy, and the side characters all do their bit to make us laugh. Just a Number 9. Imagine Me and You LGBTQ plus movies can be pretty intense, so it's nice when one comes along that offers gay people representation without attempting to be Oscar bait. <laughs> Imagine Me and You is a sweet little rom-com about two women falling in love. The only problem is, one of them is already married. The central love triangle is well handled, and the characters manage to be likable despite their tangled personal lives. I couldn't, wouldn't leave you. You're my best friend. Lena Headey, Piper Perabo, and Matthew Good make engaging leads, and they tackle the rom-com cliches with charm. It might not have been a critical hit, but sometimes all you want is a fluffy romance movie, and queer people haven't had their share yet. Very fine, so happy together. Number 8. Just My Luck Wait a second. You said that I could lose it to someone else, right? So does that mean that he took my luck from me? Maybe he needed it more than you. Chris Pine is now better known for his sci-fi blockbusters, but he kicked off his career as a rom-com leading man, and he definitely understood the assignment. In Just My Luck, Pine stars opposite Lindsay Lohan, who was breaking out of her high school roles. He plays Jake, a walking jinx who cannot catch a break, while she plays Ashley, who leads a charmed existence thanks to a lifelong lucky streak. And Maggie, you've known me since the seventh grade, right? Okay, will you please tell her that I'm not lucky? Well, you were voted prom queen at Franklin High, so we went to Jefferson. When they kiss at a masquerade bash, the luck gets switched, and chaos and new experiences ensue. It's one of Lohan's lesser-known outings, but it definitely deserves revisiting. It's a fun premise, and there's a ton of chemistry between the leads. There are some great songs, too, from British boy band McFly. Number 7. Definitely Maybe Ryan Reynolds shows off his leading man credentials in this How I Met Your Mother style mystery that will keep you guessing until the very end. I'm going to tell you the story, and I'm not telling you who your mom is. Fine. You're just going to have to figure it out for yourself. Good. And I'm changing all the names and some of the facts. I just decided that right now, and then we'll see how smart you are. Abigail Breslin plays Reynolds' young daughter, while Rachel Weisz, Elizabeth Banks, and Isla Fisher make up the trio of past loves. The script feels surprisingly fresh, and any flaws are papered over by the charismatic cast. You know what's really cool? I don't. We can just sit here. We don't have to worry about flirting or all the attraction stuff. Old stuff. Breslin is a particular standout. She's cute and funny without being cloying, and provides us with a few genuinely moving moments. As rom-coms go, we think it deserves more love. Very. Definitely. Maybe. I have to think about it. Walk me home. Number 6. Bride and Prejudice She's going to be wet It doesn't mean she's dead We'll be friends forever. 
Gurinder Chadha is the unacknowledged queen of the British naughties rom-com. The director brought us Bend It Like Beckham, Angus, Thongs, and Perfect Snogging, and The Brilliant Bride and Prejudice all within the space of a few years. But the latter movie is our favorite. A Bollywood twist on Jane Austen's most famous novel, it still somehow flies under the radar. As far as I can tell, most men have faults. Arrogance, pride, vanity. He certainly read you like a book, Darcy. Aishwarya Rai stars as the Indian heroine Lalita, while Martin Henderson gets under her skin as U.S. hotel magnate Will Darcy. This all-singing, all-dancing take on the classic tale is a real treat for Bollywood fans, Austin aficionados, and anyone who enjoys a good love story. Number 5. The Holiday The Holiday is an established Christmas classic, but we think it deserves appreciation as a romantic comedy in its own right. Okay, where do I want to go? By myself at Christmas. When two very different women switch homes for the holiday season, they discover that a quiet winter getaway is not in the cards. Instead, there are love and life lessons in store. Iris, if you were a melody. I used only the good notes. The movie has a starry cast of warm, relatable characters, including Cameron Diaz, Kate Winslet, Jack Black, and Jude Law. Everyone's in good form, but the real scene stealer is Eli Wallach as Arthur, an elderly screenwriter whom Winslet befriends. In the movies, we have leading ladies, and we have the best friend. You, I, I can tell, are leading lady. If you're looking for a film to curl up on the couch with this winter, this cozy rom-com is the perfect choice. Number 4. John Tucker Must Die Have you ever dated anyone? Define anyone. <gasps> mean Girls may be the definitive teen rom-com of the aughts, but its close cousin, John Tucker Must Die, deserves more recognition. Jesse Metcalf is John Tucker, the most popular guy in school, who dates girls from different cliques so that they never find out about each other. No guys, we're fighting over this. Yeah, right. Fight fighting about it. John Tucker's mind. Oh. <gasps> what the hell is your problem? I am dating John Tucker. Three of his past conquests join forces with new girl Kate to teach him a lesson, but the basketball star proves hard to bring down. It's an interesting premise, and the cast has a lot of fun with it. But it's also surprisingly kind for a high school movie. Brittany Snow is a charming heroine, and Penn Badgley makes an impression in an early role, playing the overlooked other Tucker. I'll let you in on a secret, though. My mom says I'm special on the inside. Good for you. Number three, Just Friends. I love you, Chris. <laughs> Like a brother. Hmm? We're friends, right? If bodysuits in movies make you cringe, don't worry, you're not the only one. But bear with us, because Just Friends isn't just a one-joke comedy about a guy who lost weight to get the girl. It may not be super sophisticated, but it's not mean-spirited either, thanks to the sympathetic characters. Besides, you don't have to show off for Jamie. Just, just be yourself. There are some nice undertones about friendship and inner beauty and a lot of warmth and heart but mostly, it's very funny. Anna Ferris pushes her comedic muscles to the limit and shows off her singing voice, too. Forgiveness is more than saying sorry. Reynolds is the perfect choice for the lead role, and Amy Smart and Chris Klein lend strong support. Number 2. Serendipity like The Holiday, Serendipity is an easy-watching winter romance that deserves its place among such classics as You've Got Mail and While You Were Sleeping. Favorite New York moment? This one's climbing the charts. I'm, like I'm flattered. John Cusack and Kate Beckinsale are the central couple, two strangers who have an instant connection while out Christmas shopping. However, they decide to go their separate ways until fate sends them a sign. This is just wrong. You don't just have the most incredible night of your life with a perfect stranger and then leave it all to chance, do you? Do you? For the movie to work, the viewer has to really believe that they're meant to be. And luckily, we do. The pair has great chemistry and an enjoyable rom-com rapport, which makes you hope that serendipity will indeed bring them back together again. In that moment, 
whole universe existed just to bring us together. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Just Like Heaven. Mark Ruffalo and Reese Witherspoon bring star quality to this ghostly love story. Oh my god. It's you. It's you. It's really you. You're not dead, you're alive. I know, David, but I'm in a coma. This is not good. Well, it's way better than dead. Kate and Leopold. Hugh Jackman as a time-traveling English duke? Count us in. What is that? I beg your pardon? Why are you standing? I'm accustomed to stand when a lady leaves the table. Lars and the Real Girl. A surprisingly sincere story about a blow-up doll and social anxiety. You know, Bianca's um, a missionary. Chasing Liberty. How did we sleep on Matthew Good for so long? You have a little thing for me, huh? I'll stop you there. I do not have a thing for you, okay? Little or otherwise. And why did you get on the train with me to Berlin, then? Mm -hmm. Confessions of a Shopaholic. The story feels different, and the stars keep the laughs coming. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. It's Complicated This Nancy Myers movie from 2009 proves that romantic comedies don't all have to be about the young people. Young at heart is good enough. Don't take too much because it's really strong. Meryl Streep, Alec Baldwin, and Steve Martin make up the central love triangle in a story of divorce, adultery, old habits, and new beginnings. It's not really so complicated, though. Just loads of fun. Yeah, it was really fun. It's easy to write off a middle-aged rom-com, but as Mamma Mia proved, if you get them right, they can still have mass appeal. It's complicated is thoughtful, fresh, but most importantly, funny. <laughs> The cast gives it everything, and when they're having such a good time, it's hard not to be swept along. It's hard not to be swept along. And when they're having a good time, no. And when they're having a good, I don't know. I don't know which one I like better. <laughs>